Ho oh, ho oh, hello everyone and welcome to another exciting edition of Box Breaks with Bruce. Today we're going to be doing our special Christmas edition of our Box Break series. As you can see our Archer's Herbe bobblehead is joined by a, a very crude Santa Claus figurine over there. But what, what says Christmas more than shiny stuff with many different colors? Well, really nothing says Christmas more than that. So that's why we're breaking a box of 2019-20 Upper Deck Allure today. That product is shiny, loads of parallels, lots of different colors. From the rare to the less rare, it's a veritable feast for the senses. But as you know how I do with my box breaks, I never just break the box I buy. I always like to get some extra packs or whatever I can find. So our extra pack today is going to be a baseball pack. Single card in it, encased autograph, can be something big, can be something less big, whatever, for the price, it's not a particularly huge gamble. Without further ado, let's get ready for box breaking. Start off with our baseball, because again, that's our secondary. We didn't, uh, didn't do the breaks just for baseball here. All right, moment of truth comes very soon. Okay, and okay. It's encased. Okay, I can feel it. Okay, we have we have a Louis Gonzalez autograph numbered one of one. For some reason, double autographed by the looks of it, unless it's a one of them's real and one's a facsimile. Now that's still cool. One of one. Bowman Chrome, Louis Gonzalez Autograph. I like the number one of one, I don't care who it is. Urbe's Verdict. Alright, so we've started off our break with a one of one. Everything else at this point is just gravy on the cake. Or, <laughs> that's a horrible cake by the sounds of it. No, um, icing on the cake. <laughs> gravy on the cake. Can you imagine? Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Alright. Louis Gonzalez, one of one. Honestly, I'm not too familiar with baseball, so I, I'm sure I'll do a little update as to what my estimated resale value is after I check it out, but hey, one of one, I don't complain. Doesn't matter what product it's out of. Also, I'm chopping up the box here. Don't forget, we're still looking for, or we're still uh, in discussion with a few goalies to join us for a future episode of Interview with an NHL Hero. We've got some potentially exciting ones coming up, so. Don't you worry, we'll have episodes of it very, very soon. Likely early on in the new year. Okay, we've got the box up on display here. Just... Bam, there we go. So, not too, too many packs. Again, I particularly dislike doing box break videos that are 20, 30 minutes. They suck to edit, and honestly, um, it's, it's not particularly exciting for you guys either. I mean, how many Series 1 breaks are there? Parkhurst breaks, whatever breaks. Short, but sweet. That's what I like to do. Okay. Pack number one, my friends. Okay, looks like a memorabilia card, but I'm not going to spend my time uh, doing anything. So, we have Toivo Teravainen. Yeah, that's right, you can see my reflection in it. Cool. We have Allure Top 50, Philippe Myers. We have a jersey card of Joel L'Esperance. Not serial numbered, okay. Leon Dreisaitl Base. And Joel Faraby, Allure Rookie. Herbe's verdict on this pack? Nah, Faraby's a decent rookie. It's just a base rookie, however, there's no serial numbering and the jersey's kind of bleh is the nice way of putting it. On to our next pack. Oh, this must be a good sign, because this one is proving to be a pain in the bottom to- oh, oh, there we go. Right, we have a lure rookie of Dante Fabro. Move my face out of the way here, it's unsettling to see myself through the looking glass of a card. Uh, John Tavares. We have Allure Rookie, one of the parallels. I'll have to look up particularly which one of Alexandra Texier. Um, something die cut behind it by the looks of it. 
Um, not numbered. Okay, we have another Allure rookie. Some kind of a die cut one of Trent Frederick. Also not numbered. White rainbow. Oh, does it say on the back? Just for this one, it says what it is. But white rainbow parallel. Carl Grundstrom rookie. And Nathan McKinnon. Quite a few rookies in that pack. I like that. All base packs uh, don't particularly excite me. I mean, none of the rookies are great, but still. Having something other than just base hits is a good sign. All right. You have Patrick Kane. Allure, top 50, Adam Fox. Do we have some kind of a parallel? Uh, Red Rainbow of Matthew Barzal. Latvian Rudolfs Balsers for the Ottawa Senators. Rookie. Quinn Hughes, rookie. Woohoo! John Carlson. Again, only thing we're going to be rating is anything serial numbered, autographed, or memorabilia, just to save the time. Otherwise, if I did it for every rookie card that came out, uh, I was trying to get away from 20, 30 minute long videos, we'd be right back at 20, 30 minute long videos. Anyways, uh, Vitaly Abramov, rookie. Drew Doughty, base. John Gibson, base. And we have Open Ice of Thomas Shabbat. And we just spoiled our next card, I do apologize, but it is a Leon Dreisaitl autograph. Numbered safe. Leon Dreisaitl autograph, numbered 30 of 35. That's pretty cool. All right. And Brock Besser base. Again, don't worry. It fell, but it fell in a safe way. Sometimes it happens. Actually, what I'm going to be doing pretty soon here in the new year, so I'll be getting a special mat with our company logo on it. So that way, if anything falls, then none of you have to worry. It'll just hit a very soft surface. But dry saddle card is safe. Don't be scared. Don't be worried. Don't downvote the video because of it. It's safe. It's... <laughs> I assure you. I can hear the pitchforks already coming to my door. <laughs> okay. All right, Colton Pareko, base. Matt Murray, base. Carson Kuhlman, Allure Top 50. We have Allure, I think White Rainbow. Rookie, Noah Dobson. Andre Vasilevsky, and Zach McEwen. The Vancouver Canuck that followed me all in 2019-20, not Quinn Hughes. Whatever, I'm already happy. We've got a sweet dry cycle autograph in our in our box. Okay. We have rookie Max Verano. Rempitlik rookie. Braden Point, my friends. Carl Grunström. White Rainbow Parallel of Joe Pavelski. My pile just fell over here. Give me one second. And Sebastian Aho. Perfect. Okay. Boom. Henrik Lundqvist, base. Libor Hayek, Allure, top 50. We have a jersey card of Connor Hellebuck. Numbered, not numbered, but it's a red rainbow jersey. That doesn't want to focus. There we go. Tomasz Hertel. Blake Lazat, rookie. Our final pack. I'm already happy with the break. Urbe, we'll see what he thinks at the very, very end. Ovechkin, base. Jacob Vrana, base. We have, uh oh, winter storm warning of John Tavares. Not numbered, just a regular insert. We have a red rainbow of Tuivo Teravainen. Not numbered. Eric Carlson, base. And Sergei Bobrovsky, base. Urbe's verdict on our box of 2019-20, Upper Deck Allure. Oh yeah. Well, let's be honest here, that uh, Leon Dreisaitl autograph card out of 35, it saved our break. Well, let's do a quick recap of some of our good hits from the break. Here's a quick recap of our 
box break for today. Again, I don't know about the rarity yet. I haven't had a chance to look up on Cardboard Connection kind of the odds and what the exact parallels are, but we'll do it quick. Got a Quinn Hughes regular rookie card. I'm not complaining about that, my friends. We got a parallel rookie. Not sure what parallel this is exactly, but Alexandre Texier. Then we got a few white and red rainbows, including Trent Frederick, and Matthew Barzal, Noah Dobson, Joe Pavelski, and Toivo Teravainen. We also got jersey card, Joel L'Esperance, kind of pedestrian card if you ask me. We ended up with a red rainbow jersey of Connor Hellebuck. The one that doesn't want to focus, excellent. Moving on up to the east side, as they said on that old show. We have Leon Dreisaitl autograph out of 35. Pardon the German accent. And then just from our single loose box there, we ended up with a Louis Gonzalez Bowman Chrome one of one um, Topps Archives autograph. I don't know if it's a double autograph. That would be pretty sweet if it was, but um, yeah, pretty cool card. Well, I'm glad you all came by to watch our special Christmas edition of Box Breaks with Bruce. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas or whatever you celebrate. Take care of yourselves. It's the time of the season to be happy, to be joyful, be with the ones we love. At least treat ourselves even if we are by ourselves. It is a strange world we live in today. You deserve a Merry Christmas. You deserve a great holiday. Till next time, have yourselves an excellent day. Bye-bye, my friends.